Hi there, it's Mr. Grapes back again to continue our walkthrough through the game Gods Remastered, which was produced by Robot Riot and released in 2018. And we are about to tackle World 2 of Level 3, The Labyrinth. Well over halfway through the game now, and things are getting trickier. I'm glad to say, though, that this world is a little shorter than the previous two that we have negotiated. This one is about a six minute world. The first thing we will do is to visit the shop and having taken a few hits at the end of the last world we are going to top up our energy. We are going to take a shield because again there are some tricky points in this world and we will take a weapon power up because our weapons can't be strong enough. Then we move on to this little climb and you don't need to be that careful negotiating this part of the game uh, because there is a health power up literally right above your head. Uh, in fact the game is re relatively quite generous with this uh, in this world with health power ups there are a couple which do help certainly this first one now in all honesty um, it could be left there and come back to later but uh, we'll take it anyway. Uh, if you go up and left and flick that switch, we release a starburst which kills the bad guy who was stealing the gem. And that is the first of three gems that we need to complete this world. Deal with the guys that come from the left and then these ones that come from the right. And then there's a little bonus here. There's a bonus key that can be won if you can get to the top of this ladder with full health. So it's a case of triggering the health power up there, taking it and then scooting up the ladder as quickly as we can. And if you're quick enough, the key will appear there. But I do lose a fair amount of health dealing with those flying chaps. And uh, that has uh, taken quite a lot of us. But however, all is well because behind the door we have another full health power up. Just as well because we had taken quite a few hits there. I played that quite uh, messily. But no matter, when you know there's a health power up coming, you can take a few more risks. We're going to come down this ladder, go through this door. And this will bring us to a new area where we have to negotiate uh, some bees and some beehives. Another one here. And then there will be some flying uh, enemies coming from the left and a trap to uh, dispense with. The... Uh, the switch that opens uh, that kills that trap also opens some trap doors above you there. And if we hadn't killed the bad guy at the start with the starburst, that's where he would have been loitering and he would have dropped onto you. But as he was killed by the starburst, there is no need to worry there. Now we're going to come back through the door. We will reappear uh, back there. You will see that we have a light lit up above the door. If we get the three gems back to that door, that will complete the world. Taking that uh, shield allows us to drop into this uh, treasure room, pick up the bonuses and again back to this point. Now we've got a couple of tricky bits. We've got uh, a, uh, a potion here which attracts the enemies and we're going to move it just uh, forward a little bit because there are some flying monsters going to come in from the left when we reach this door and we will use that potion to distract them to allow us to kill them. And then again we're going to move it just up the step and there's a series of switches here and you will not work this uh, combination out on your own. There are th hundreds of combinations. The combination is one, two, four, three, two. And two will open the trap door and our monster will fall through and he will be attracted by the uh, potion. But even so, he fires continuously and he takes a lot of killing. Without the potion, this part of the level is instant death. That combination of switches that we switched actually moved the block to our right there out of the way so we can progress further down this corridor. But first of all we will pick up that crystal. That's the, uh, the second crystal of the three that we need to collect so we're going to run it back over to the door and you will see the second light light up showing there that we only have one more needed to complete the world. And then, as I say, we have cleared the way to go along this corridor. There's a switch in the wall to operate there, and then a world, uh, sorry, a door switch there. Come through the door, and we actually come out 
back in the treasure room that we've already cleared and back to uh, the door again. So a bit of a round in the circle job there. Finally down this ladder. This isn't too difficult either. In fact, this level isn't too bad compared with the last two that we've done. Two switches to operate here. And then we're going to go down the ladder and kill a couple of uh, bad guys that appear in front of us. And then when we're ready, we're going to open this door and kill those two thieves, making sure that we duck when they fire at us. But they won't walk into us. They'll keep turning around so you can take your time and kill them without losing any more energy. Once you've done that, another flick of the switch gets rid of the trap. We can pick up the third crystal and make our way back up to the door. These switches will uh, clear our way for us. And that is it. That is the level. Now, that's not too bad. Considering we are over halfway, the levels now are uh, getting increasingly tough, but this one isn't too bad to negotiate. And there we go. And we've uh, completed uh, World 2. I hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough and it was useful. Please feel free to uh, like and uh, subscribe my videos. And I will see you next time.